Away from the Pragya business and unemployment, let's move on to artificial intelligence, which presents a significant opportunities for businesses to become more efficient while students get quick access to study materials for education, among others. The question remains here is, is Ghana really ready to encompass the risks associated with it? I brought the story no longer ago. Take a listen. So artificial intelligence has uh, actually come to stay um, as to whether as a country we are ready for it. I would say that Ghana has been making some good strides um, in technology and artificial intelligence adoption. Um, as a country, you can think of some companies like um, the uh, Cara Agro, as I know of, and the Mino Health. And um, also I know about the Ghana NLP. These are all industrial folks who are making a lot of good strides um, in the usage of artificial intelligence technology. So while there is some progress made um, as a country, the, I think that there is also much to be done, you know, to match up with the adoption rate if you look at it from the global uh, standpoint of view. Artificial intelligence, AI, is the ability of a digital computer to perform tasks commonly associated with human beings. Even though AI capacity cannot fully match human abilities, some programs have attained the performance levels of human experts in performing certain specific tasks in applications such as search engines, voice or handwriting recognitions and chat bots on whether Ghana is ready to actively utilize the AI tools effectively in their working environment and schools, Dr. Emmanuel Ahine is a cyber security and an AI expert. Some Ghanaians told Penn TV in an interview that AI is an effective tool that aids in their curricula and corporate activities extensively. Technology is good so I really welcome AI because it does, it does a lot. I have the work I do, so one of the jobs I do is video, video tracking. And video tracking, some of my video tracking uses AI technology in it. And it's good because, for example, it, 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 um, uh, there, will be an, uh, there will be a camera inside this car. And this is good for like uh, big trucks or buses. And the AI bit is good in the sense that it can tell when a driver is sleeping on the steer, behind the steering wheel. It can notify, it can send notification to the transport owner. Sometimes if care is not taken, the unemployment rate is likely to increase because uh, fewer people with the, with the help of the uh, AI will be able to do a lot of tasks that the manpower most people will be able to do. So, On the other hand, some Ghanaians believe the risks were dire as it could result in a higher unemployment rate, risks to cybersecurity and privacy, as well as a deficit in knowledge acquisition. I would say with AI, it's making some of us the student lazy. Because um, instead of us to do research, rather pick the question, put it there, then give, give her the answer, then we are good to go. So it, it's making research more vulnerable let me, let me put it that way yeah ai has helped you know minimize the casualty rates of which individuals would actually get involved with certain technicalities at the work but then education wise you know ai has also come to help assignment gone are the days where you'd have to go and read lots of books to find maybe some simple answers but then with the help of uh, artificial intelligence in academics, you can just search with some AI tools and just generate information in a very short amount of time. For organizations, Dr. Emmanuel Ahine recommended institutional tutorials on AI tools for employees while urging students to treat the AI tools as a means to an end in their education. I think organizations should invest in education in AI. Okay, so have an in-house training for your workers. Um, let them understand what AI is and what AI tools they could use to um, do their work efficiently. Okay, so this is one important point. Get your people educated. And for workers, if your organization is not doing this for you, you can upskill by yourself. Um, try to take some courses in AI and, and look at what tools exist to um, enhance your productivity. 
And for students, uh, I would suggest this can support in your learning. However, as you're using the tools, you should understand that they have got limitations. They may at a point not provide you with correct answers. They may be inconsistent. And so as a student, don't be over-reliant on these um, tools. You can see them as assistive tools to um, enhance your process of learning. The risks associated with extensively relying on AI and automation and the growing trend is for businesses to seek the most effective balance between AI and human involvement.